Hey YouTubers, this is Luis from Onsite Towing and Recovery in Middletown, New York. So, you're getting into the business and you're not sure whether you want to buy a new truck or a used truck. So, in this video I'm going to share my personal opinion and experiences uh, on what I did as a startup business and maybe this will help you. So, when I got into the business four years ago, I ended up uh, financing a 3500 HD flatbed. Small little truck use it for about 60,000 miles. It's pretty trouble free. You know, truck only had like 90,000 miles on it. And I ended up selling it for more money and getting into a, an international, like a 90, I think it was a 96 international, if I remember correctly. And medium duty truck. So I bought that cash and I ended up buying a lot of my other trucks cash just because I didn't want uh, a payment at the end of the month. Now, one thing that I found with the internationals being that they were, you know, over 20 years old, you know, they got in quite a bit of abuse. Uh, there was quite a bit of maintenance to do on them. You know, you know, one of them required king pins, you know, another required a clutch. I do all my mechanical work myself, so it all gets done here in the shop. I don't, I don't outsource it. I don't take it to a repair shop unless I'm so busy where it'll cost me less to just have a repair shop to do it, but that really doesn't happen that often. So, so anyways, so the international was great, but I remember I was having to fix a lot of things that were wrong with them. And I wasn't so busy when I first started the business, so that it was fine. I was, you know, it was, it was manageable. But as I started to grow as a business, I found myself being in the shop too much, fixing these trucks and not, on the, not out on the road generating money. The the neat thing was that you know once once everything was addressed, all the issues were fixed. I knew what I had. So, but problems would still come up. You know, we'd have our electrical issues. You know, harnesses would have to be replaced, uh, brakes and hydraulic lines, all all the typical stuff you get with a with an older truck. But it was also nice not to have that monthly payment at the end of the month. So as I started to grow, you know, I was, like I said before, I was spending too much time fixing them. And I said, you know what, Th this is get getting a little bit out of hand. And it can be demoralizing to your drivers too, you know, when their trucks are constantly having some kind of issue or they got several little quirks. So I said, I'm going to buy a newer truck. And just so you guys know, to this day, I still have not bought a brand new truck. My newest truck is actually a Dodge 2012 5500. I bought it with 115,000 miles on it. We've put about 50,000 miles on it in the last year. And there is a big difference. Um, I'm not fixing stuff as much as I used to with the internationals. So that's a plus thing. The one thing also too, I went with an older, with a newer truck that was a few years old, so I wouldn't get hit with the depreciation value of a new truck the moment you drive it off the lot. So, you know, she was also out of warranty, uh, which was my whole plan. I wanted a truck that was out of warranty for, because of the DF systems and stuff. I won't get into that due to legality issues, but. So, since I've gotten to Dodge, I've been a little more productive because of repairs. Don't get me wrong, the Dodge has had his own issues, you know, like I had to do a water pump, but it wasn't a big deal. The driver broke down an hour away, I ran to Napa, got the water pump, and I fixed it there on the side of the road. You know, tires and stuff like that, but for the most part, it's been trouble free. Um, so, like I said, I haven't bought a brand new truck. So, as far as buying a used truck, you know, you, you buy what you can buy. You know, what, what you can, you know, what you've budgeted for. There's nothing wrong with buying a used truck, but you're eventually going to get to a point where you're going to get busy and you're going to have to start looking at newer stuff. Now, buying brand new, and this is just my opinion, my, my opinion on new stuff is it's nice to have a warranty. You know, I know that Dodge, I think Dodge has a 100,000 mile warranty, Ford has 250 for the 6.7, I'm not 100% sure. And that's nice. Um, it's, it's assurance, you're getting a brand new truck, you're starting fresh, you know that the truck hasn't been abused. But I find that a lot of the newer stuff, the quality has gone down, especially with the DEF systems, they, they seem to be very problematic. And my biggest issue with the new trucks is when you take it in for warranty work, 
you're at the mercy of the dealership. And, you know, I've had friends that have bought new stuff and the trucks are sitting in, in the service bay for two or three weeks. And at the end of the month, they still got to pay that, that monthly note. You know, you're paying that note on a truck that's not even generating you any money. And that is my biggest issue with the new stuff. Um, and also, when you buy brand new, you know, you're spending 80 grand on this truck. And the moment you drive it off the lot, you know, you take a big hit in the depreciation. And, and that, to me, is also a turnoff. So, you know, and then you got that big monthly payment at the end of the month. You got $1,500 payment. On top of that, you're going to pay more on insurance for that new truck than you would for a used truck because of the replacement value is a lot higher. So, you know, it's a, it's a, there's no right way to approach this. There's no wrong way to approach it. Uh, you know, not all of us have money to, when we start these businesses, and I understand that. Uh, but, you know, if you're in the market for a used truck, you know, go through it with a fine comb, you know. Just just look at things, you know. If, if you should go to see this truck and the guy's got lights out, you know, especially lights, you know, they don't cost a lot of money. It's kind of an indication on what else you're going to find. You know, if somebody is too lazy or too frugal to replace a, a marker light or several marker lights, then you really need to start digging in a little bit because they might be skimping on the maintenance. Uh, my big thing is, you know, b try and buy stuff cash. You know, nothing's worse than paying interest charges and, and that monthly payment at the end of the month. And do your research. Another thing that I would like to tell people is start getting familiar with your own trucks, working on your own trucks, doing the maintenance yourself, because that's going to save on, on cost. And you're not going to be at the mercy of a shop. You know, when my trucks break down here, I pull them right in. I bang those suckers right out and out they go. It's, I think this year, the longest we had a truck down, which was my Kenworth, my T300, which is a used truck as well. It's a 99, was when the PTO pump went bad. It was down for, I think, two days. You know, I had to order this pump, um, but that wasn't a big deal, you know, because I've got other equipment here. But I hope this video somehow helps you in deciding what you want to do, whether you want to go new or used. Uh, if anybody else has any comments and stuff or experiences with the news trucks and how they made it work, feel free to comment and, and please subscribe, slow down, move over, and thanks for watching.